Hello, this is Keith from longarm-tech.com where our mission is to delight discerning long armors. If you own a machine like an Amera, Avanti, Regalia, Cornet, QMP18, or others that are on the Studio 2, Pearl, or similar frame, you may need to remove a pole end assembly. Two likely reasons. One, if you are lengthening or shortening your frame and need to adjust the poles, or the second one and more likely is that one of these components on the assembly has been damaged and needs to be replaced. To remove the pole end assembly, you will need a 17 millimeter wrench. You will note that I am using a 17 millimeter socket, but you can also use the wrench that came in the toolkit with your long arm to accomplish the task. It is not obvious how the assembly comes apart, but with just a few quick steps, you will find it is easier than you think. The pole end assembly is secured to the pole through a pressure fitting. As this bolt is tightened, a fitting inside expands against the inside of the pole to lock the fitting in place. In order to remove it, you need to first take the nut off. So put your socket or wrench on it and start spinning it, but don't take it all the way off. Feel with your finger, you want to take it so it's at about the same uh, distance out as the bolt is. Now take a hammer and gently tap the bolt. You'll see it going inside. Now take your wrench again and take the nut completely off. And tap the bolt all the way in. You saw the small washer fall off. Now remove the grooved wheel and the larger washer. And you should be able to twist the fitting out with your hand. Now that we have both pieces removed, you can see how the inner piece, as it's pushed in, expands the outer piece, providing compression against the inside of the pole end to lock the fitting into place. To reinstall the pole end assembly, gently slide the inner fitting inside the outer fitting. Note that it has slots that it goes in, and you want to push the bolt about two threads through the end. If you push it in too far, it'll expand the fitting enough that you can't push it inside the pole. Now gently push it inside the pole, it should slide right in. Now put your nut on the bolt, tighten as much as you can, finger tight. When that's done, put your wrench on it. You may need to hold it, you see it was spinning the outer assembly. You want to spin the nut enough that there's about a quarter inch of the bolt, four or five threads sticking out. Now you'll need to loosen the nut, take it off. Now place the large washer, then the grooved wheel, then the smaller washer. Reinstall your nut and when you reinstall the nut, Make sure the blue side that's got the locking compound on it is towards the outside. The thicker part of the nut should be towards the inside. Tighten it down until it's finger tight. Then take your wrench, and tighten it until it's good and snug. Again, you should have about a quarter inch of that bolt sticking out. Now it's nice and tight. You can see there's about a quarter inch of bolt sticking out past the nut and you are done. All you need to do now is put your pole back on your frame and quilt on. Thank you for watching Long Arm Dash Tech.